Hello children children in the previous video we have started reading the lesson going to the village now we are going to continue with the explanation of this lesson so take out page number 42 of your english reader books page number 42 and we are going to start from here nitya nitya i wonder what kind of house they live in mother the house has trees all around it and a courtyard in the center There is a well at the back. Then Nitya asked her mother that I wonder that what kind in which what kind of houses do the people live in a village. Then mother told that in villages there are trees all around the house. There are trees all around the house and there is a courtyard in the center. Children, courtyard is a big area inside the house which is surrounded by walls. There is a big area inside the house and all around. that area there are walls that is called a courtyard there is a well at the back then mother further told that there is a well at the back of the house when we were young we used to sit under the trees at night grandpa would tell us stories then mother told that when we were small children during those days when we were small children we used to sit under the trees at night and enjoy the weather and grandpa used to tell us stories like in those days televisions were not there so people used to sit under the tree children used to sit under the trees and grandparents used to tell them stories the people of the village would gather to listen to the stories mother told that the people of the village also used to come and sit under the tree and used to listen to the stories told by grandpa Sometimes when it was very hot we would sleep under the trees they smelled so good and it felt so cool then mother told nitya that sometimes during the summer season when it was very very hot we used to sleep sleep under the trees because under the shade of the trees we feel cool we obviously feel cool under the shade of the tree so when it was very hot during the summer season we used to sleep under the shade of the trees aditi the houses in the city are usually small then aditi told her mother that in cities the houses are very small they are usually normally small we find no small houses in the city mother well many houses in the village are small too some of them have thatched roofs some houses are big and have tiled roofs then mother told aditi that there are small houses in villages also but those small houses in the village have thatched roofs children i have written the meaning of thatched roofs over here in your books you also write in your books thatched roofs means the roof which is made of dry grass dry grass or straw so mother told that in villages also small houses are there and those small houses have thatched roofs and there are big houses also which have tiled roofs means the roofs are made of tiles big houses have tiled roofs father the train is about to stop at our station come pick up the bags and move towards the exit remember it will stop here for just 2 minutes then father told his family that the train is going to arrive at the station and then all of you pick up your bags and move towards the exit move towards the door so that as soon as the train stops we can get off at the station because the train will hardly stop at the station for 2 minutes the family gets off at the station the platform is small and almost empty then when the train stops at the station the family gets off at the station and they find that the platform was very small like in villages the platforms the stations are usually small so the platform was very small and almost empty means hardly you can you could see the people over there or you can say very few people were found at the station nitya uncle naresh auntie rujita nitya saw uncle naresh and auntie rujita at the station and she was excited to see them she was very happy to see them uncle welcome did you have a comfortable journey aditi we did then uncle welcomed the whole family and asked that did you have a comfortable journey or did you face any problem while traveling from city to to the village then aditi told uncle yes we definitely had a 
comfortable journey. We enjoyed a lot. Auntie, come this way. The tractor is parked at that end of the station. Nitya, will you drive the tractor, Auntie? Auntie, why not? Would you and Aditi like to sit beside me in the front? Then Auntie told, come this way because the tractor was parked at the other end of the station. Then Nitya told, asked Auntie that will you drive the tractor? Then Auntie told Nitya, yes, why not? Then she offered Aditi and Nitya that if they want to sit beside her at the front of the tractor, they are most welcome to sit over there. Then Nitya told, yes, we would. Nitya told, yes, we would definitely like to sit beside you in front of the tractor. Aditi, what fun! Will the tractor take us through the fields? Uncle, no, it might spoil the crops. However, you can say, see the fields as we drive by. Then Aditi told, like it was, she was so excited to sit in, on the front side of the tractor and she told that will you take, uh, will the tractor go through the fields? Then uncle told, no, no, the tractor will not go through the fields, otherwise it will spoil the crops. And then uncle further told that you can see the fields as we go to the village. So children, this was all there regarding the explanation of this lesson. Do revise this lesson, do read it repeatedly. And moreover, reading will improve your reading skill. So this was all there regarding the explanation today. In the next video, we will do the book exercises of this lesson. Thank you.